everybody and what do bring you guys the final part of these three series vids of Yoshi blowing up Peach and Daisy by um Miles here, Miles and Yoshi. So now we're going to watch Yoshi versus Play of Fours Daisy. Now I know who Play of Four is, he's in my area. Um I haven't really seen him playing this game. I've seen him playing Smash 4. But in this game, I haven't seen him play. So, let's see what happens here. So, Miles Yoshi versus Player 4's DD. like how he's hitting the ground but he's kind of floating a bit too much longer than he needs to like um it gets caught here right and then yeah he's floating a bit too long like he should like float and then quickly and then keep moving Floats too slow see like that and then he gets left open like you don't you don't want to leave yourself a sitting duck like that even though he's trying to flow for a bit and then give it up as a mix-up which you know it's okay but you should not rely on that too much because you can leave yourself open i think this is the second time you got punished for doing that so if you're gonna float like that make sure you do it at a distance where the opponent can't just come at you the way yoshi did with his fair like if you're at that distance where the opponent can hit you you need to like just quickly float and like let go and either shield or move if possible if you can't get out the way because the opponent's too close then yeah shield evade whatever but um yeah that's that's the only little nitpick i see here so far he's not in the air too much he's mostly on the ground so that's a good thing and picking up turns at the wrong time see here let me see it does yeah he picked up a turn up he got to be aware that majority of the time yoshis they're usually gonna egg and come onto the stage like i see that so many times from yoshis they just want to egg and then land on stage you should um it should be looking out for that but that's usually what i look out for when i fight a yoshi the only time i don't i don't look for it too much if i don't see him doing it but every single yoshi that i fight even if i never played him before that's the first thing i look out for if they're like mid-level with the stage they might recover the way Mao did here with the egg or if they're high and they were coming to a stage they might try to jump back on not even go for the ledge um and having the egg cover their landing so that's one thing you want to keep in mind look for that first so that kind of cut him off guard and he got hit with the turn up it's fine right, back to neutral mm, blocking a bit too much like here he could have unless he was expecting him to land on shield they can punish but at this point he's kind of giving yoshi free shield pressure i would have just kept moving yeah i would i would have moved and the thing is he didn't even punish it seemed like he was waiting for something and he does that and he rolled out the way so honestly damn, i'm not sure how safe his bear is i mean yoshi's bear Matter of fact, hold on, we're gonna go here. Let me see. Will this show up on the stream? Yes, it does. Alright, Let, let's look at this right quick. Sorry, the screen looks a bit cropped, but I do for the video. Um, but just so you guys can know, and I can know. Where's Yoshi? Yoshi. Okay, Yoshi's here. Hopefully, the screen will cast a bear. Okay, the bear's here. Will it show up on stream? Okay, yeah, you guys can see it there. Okay, so the bear is negative nine. If it's a strong hit, negative eight with the weak. So he could have, he was really close. So he could have punished Yoshi. Cause he, he landed in front of him, right? I believe, let's see, did he land in front of him? I think that's a punish. Let's see, okay. Oh, he landed behind him. Okay, in that case, he wouldn't be able to punish that. Unless maybe he jumped Z drop or something. Or he could have bared. Which might have been what he tried to do and probably got a robot mistake. 
that, that could be a thing. Yeah, he, he could have bared. Um, but yeah, that's not safe. So he could have, um, could have bared him and hit him out of it. Yeah, but toss him to turn it behind you. Um, it comes out frame 11. But you recover sooner from it. So if he would have landed behind you, yeah, he could have tossed the turn up. In front of him, he would have punished Yoshi, but yeah. All right, back to the match. Nice, nice. Okay, this was this was good. This was good. Right here, he um he does that, and then he pulls away because just to see what the opponent would do, because people tend to mash, and he did. See, he does a what is that forward tilt? I think that's forward tilt. Um, so yeah, good, good stuff. In this situation, when people get hit around these numbers, or they land close to the opponent. Like the, with the up air, it was a little hit stun. People usually tend to do something. So he realized that he pulled back. But sadly, he didn't get the punish. He should have just ran and stood on the ground. I guess he thought he was going to jump. Okay. The bear. Oh, I don't like that approach, but it's okay. He, he hasn't been doing it too much. So every now and then, he, he could do stuff like that because Yoshi wouldn't be expecting it. So never mind. And yeah, he jumped. Nice, okay, patient. Oh, that was a punish. He needs to forget what kind of punish in there. He's not doing too bad. Mm. Yeah, see, this is why you don't do that. Again, this is why you don't land on top of people. Because this is a frame trap. A lot of characters can frame trap you for doing stuff like this. That's why I always move away. So he does this. He air does this. And then he, he gets snared. And you can't do that. So these are like one of the reasons why it's important to just pull away. Don't try to land on top of somebody. Because if somebody knows how to punish things like this, which in this case, Miles, we'll see what happens. I, I, don't, I pull away. Oh, he got the left twice. Okay. That. Mm. Okay. And what? What did he do? Oh, he was trying to pull away. And he got hit with the upper. He was a bit too close. The marker spacing. Oh, I know that feel. Because this time when I try to marker space something so I don't have to block, I can just move out the way. But I'm too close. And then I'm getting hit. So that's what happened to him here. Mm, Alright. Like, if, if people lose the stock. Like, if it's something like that, like what happened, you know, he made a mistake in micro, that's fine. I'd rather see people lose the stock that way than doing something reckless. And these guys seem to be having a good time. All right. All right. Okay, so, okay, got the bear. Mm, nice, okay. Oh, I'm sleeping. Oh, he could have down tilted right there. I'm going for the grab. Down tilt or instant dash attack? Instant dash attack would have probably worked. Oh my god, see? That's why you don't come down fairing. Okay, that was a good landing. Like, right here, this was good. He got punished the first time for trying to do an aggressive landing. This time, he said, ah, right, you know what? You got it. Jump, pull away, land. Now he's back, back to neutral. Okay, okay. That's good, that's good. Good patience by him. He didn't panic in the corner. Okay. Nice. Okay, I, I like this here. Like, these little things that I'm pointing out, these are like, um, a lot of players won't think about this too much. And in high-level play, like, if you're trying to become a top player or the decisions that top players make, little things like this. The, um, the average viewer won't pay attention to, right? So, he's in the egg. He gets hit with this. He's at 132. Usually in this situation, people will come down and try to hit Yoshi because he's kind of in a tumble state. But he decides, like, you know what? No. And that's why Yoshi blocked. If he would have touched Yoshi's shield with, a, in this case, a bear since his back is turned, 
he would have got blown off for it. So he's like, no, it, it, it's not worth it. So little things like this, I, I point out. And um, I let you guys aware of it. So you guys can keep this in mind. And it makes your gameplay a lot smoother. And you don't put yourself in danger. So yeah, this this I like. I, I like this decision here. Because a majority of players, they would have just tried to land near Yoshi with an attack. And at this percent, player 4 would be dead. Mm. Oh, he messed up. I think he tried to be Oh! Got him. I feel like his movement it could be a bit faster like what he's doing is not too bad but he can mix in like speed but this time where he, the way he floats he's in his float a bit too long like he could be zipping in and out even though daisy's not a fast character obviously but that movement but you know the cure fires all that stuff and he armored it well um yeah with the cure fires all that stuff he could no, he could be a bit harder to hit. Like his, his movement is okay. It, it it's not bad. He's not in the air too much. Did pull away. But yeah, he's not in the air too much. That just like a, a a little nitpick or I guess a bit of advice. That if he does that, um, he be a bit harder to hit. Nice, beautiful. Freaking beautiful. I love this. See, anytime players do stuff like this, I got to call it out. Because I'm sick and tired of seeing Peach and Davis players always coming down with a freaking button. And then they get blown up. So this was good. He floats real quick, cancel momentum, and then he pulls back. And he avoids that. See, like, I, I, don't, I don't see many players do this. This is something that I do a lot. And I think Nuggets, he did it too, at one point. When we were watching the, the other match with him versus Mouse. But yes, yeah, see, this, this is good. Now, I like that he... He hasn't been doing a lot of aggressive landings. That's it. The, the only thing I, I feel like he should work on is... um I guess he could punish a bit better out, out of shield. This punish game. There, there were a few times where he could have blew up Yoshi. But he just let it rock. Um, and most importantly, um his moving. He, he could be a bit faster and that wasn't even worth... That wasn't worth it. I mean, he <sighs> granted he had the right idea. He did something aggressive. Like if he would have nared, then yes. Like he knew Yoshi was gonna come at him, but he just doesn't up there that freaking misses, and then dies for it. <sighs> okay, so I I'm 50-50 on that because that was risky. He hits Yoshi, okay, but if he gets hit, well, you see what happened here. He lost his stock. It's over. But at the same time, he knew Yoshi was going to come at him and do something aggressive. He called it out. But the upper just happened not to hit. So, it's 50-50. I, I, I'm not going to give him too much slack for that. It's the right call, but he just, that shit just missed. He did up there. But okay. No, not not too bad. Yeah, he's going to peach now. Yeah, not too bad. I just feel like his punish game needs to be stepped up. And um, better movement. These are the, the only two things I, I see right now that probably make this a bit better. Yeah, the way he's floating like that. I said, I don't... He's too slow on the ground like that. He should be zipping in and out. Like, there's times where you could do that. I'm not saying don't ever do that. But he should mix that with, you know, quickly. Okay, see, now he's moving. See, n now he's moving. I feel like he's hearing me from the future. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> but yeah, all that stuff that he was doing, you know, he was showing off. Or, you know, just having a good time. Um, See, he could mix that in. So that way he's not so slow. You know, be like a bit faster. Okay. Nice. Okay. Yeah, he. Yeah, I, I get worried when he floats like that. Like 
You shouldn't be flowing in place like that. Just flowing and quickly cancel it. Mm, too close. Oh, that was risky. Yoshi had that us match ready for him. Holy crap. But lucky for him, he got his hit out. But I saw that us match. Yoshi just did it too slow. Oh. What? I've never seen that. Oh, he tacked in place. Okay, that's that's not a thing. I'm thinking what bear to four smash shoot combo? No, he tucked in place. So that's why he got hit. All right. Yeah, him floating on the ground like that. He's not really getting much out of it. Like he needs a uh, he needs a QFR. Mix up floating like that with uh, QFR. Uh, that was a good grab. Okay. Mm. Nice. Good catch. Okay, he tied it up. Want the turn up? Mm-hmm. See what he does? Yep. There you go. He did. This is why he did this, right? So he does. He goes near Yoshi after the bear. And then he pulls back. To see what Yoshi would do. Because again, he he realizes that out of his some people they tend to do something. They always want to like cross and tackle. But that was good. Um, I assume he thought Yoshi was gonna go towards him. But Yoshi was when he did the bear, Yoshi was near the platform. Actually, no. He he could have chased. He could have chased play four. He could have chased him. That's why he pulled back. So he guessed wrong. But either way, he's still being safe. But he's not he's not being too greedy. He he gets a hit, and when he knows he can't get any more, like anything else he does is not guaranteed, he checks for the opponent to see what they do. So okay. Yeah. Good stuff. Uh oh. He okay, what's going on here? So he got hit with that. Okay. Let's hit with another one. And now he's trying to land on top of it with a dare. <sighs> so he gets hit for this. So he does that. Afterwards, she's like, okay, no more. He doesn't want to land on him with a dare. And he, he had to block it. He tried to run away. That's why he got hit. Not fast enough to get away. And at least to that. In this situation here, I would have not tried a bear. I would have just went straight for the ledge. I'm already in a bad spot. It's not worth it. So they did trade. So, mm. but yeah, usually I, I would have just went for the ledge. Oh my, he could have. He could have did a get up attack or something. Oh yep, yeah, moved out the way. Put it to grab. He gets a dash attack. Mm, I would have. See here. I don't want to go for the read or something. But I, I would have not gone for this. I would have ran to Yoshi and then pulled back. Which I mentioned this many times in the in the video. The last two that we went over. But yeah, because this is a guess. But it's not too bad. Because he still has stage control. So. Mm, it's, not, it's not too bad. But granted, he, he does wait. Like, when he gets a hit, he does wait to see what Miles would do. So, after a while, you know, he's adapting, he see what he does, and then, you know, he goes for read. So, it, it, it's not too bad. Like if you see the pattern, there's no point in waiting anymore. Just get ready to punish. You know what I mean? So, so this is a bad spot. Mm-mm! Can't be doing that, boy. He needs to be careful the way he approaches. Okay, back throw, get the turn up. Oh, you want to save this boy. See, okay, I like what he's doing here. He's doing the up air. And one thing that I want you guys to remember is that if you have, like, a good turn up in your hand or any turn up in general and the opponent double jumps and they try to land towards you, like, just 
don't play a guessing game. Let them land. Because they're either going to air dodge or toss an attack out. And then once they do that, that's it. You get a free punish. So when a situation like this happens, especially when you got like a, a good stitch face, like a stitch face or a strong turn up or a bomb or whatever, um, don't try to go for these guessing games when the opponent's going to jump. Just save it. Unless you see like a pattern and you sure like, okay, they keep jumping in a certain way so I can hit them. Outside of that, just let them land near you. Because they're going to panic to an air dodge or an attack. Oh. So you're going to throw them into it or something. Okay, there you go. Nice. Okay, he's punishing his landings. Mmm. Okay, Yoshi can't land. He did a lot of damage. Now, oh, he got the weak bear. Nice. Okay, that sequence was good. That that was a nice sequence. Yoshi cannot land. And he didn't even commit too hard either. He just stood at the ground, ground float. Because if he tries to avoid the, the up air, he had a projectile in his hand. So he got that a punish if Yoshi gets away from him. So that was really good. Okay. Okay. Nice. This was good. This was good. So he gets the hit. Jump shows him pull back. He jumped towards him and then he pulls back. See what he does. Okay. That's good. That's good. Like every now and then he's checking him out. But he needs to be careful with these dares, man. He is not a percent to be doing these dares. Mm. He waited. Okay. The recovery. Okay, he's in the corner. Uh, he tried to bear. Easy. Good defense. Okay, defense pretty good right now. It's looking okay. Nice. Nope. Easy. Easy. Don't do too much. Mmm. Good. Good safe pressure. Oh, don't land near him. See, that's why you don't land near people. You pull away. Okay, good recovery. Don't do that. Why, man? Oh my god. Why, bruh? Dude, you are not at the percent to be doing that. What the hell? Uh. Alright, so that ends the saga of Yoshi blowing up Peach and David players. So my final thoughts here with this set is play play four he, he was doing good uh, especially that last match when he was punishing landing he got a lot of damage for that but we're doing okay I said if anything the only the only things I see that he needs to get better at is um or I guess advice whatever is like the way he floats at times he ground floats and he stays and he does it too long it's kind of like a sitting duck at times and it really doesn't get him anywhere because you're just floating there and like the opponent's like Okay, and if you're gonna be in one spot that can easily close the gap on you When he could just float quickly land, you know, do the QFR and keep moving And when he was showing off, he was doing that at one point And then when they went back to playing serious, we just stopped If he would have did that, um I feel like he would have been harder to hit So he, he He needs to get on that, I feel He gets on that, um, you know, his His peach and daily, though you know, a level up. Okay, there was that. Um, what else was there? Uh, yeah, micro spacing and then punish. But that's something, like, I'm not going to get on him too hard for that. That's something you can just practice, you know. Because people, people are not perfect. Every now and then, you're going to mess up something. And then you, you know, you get blown up and it can cost you the L. It happens. But I feel like him you know quickly floating doing the qfr and then moving around a lot instead of like floating in place a bit too long that's something he needs to uh he needs to fix and then also in general pay attention to the percent that you have but some of the stuff that he was doing like that dash attack it wasn't even worth bro like i think two times he died for doing for doing that doing stuff a high percent and it left him open few times I saw it but overall, I said outside of that he has that to his game 
Yeah, he all right. He he could have won. He 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 could have won. I feel like um out of all these three videos, Nugget he played it the best. Like um all the stuff that he was doing, he played it the best. And then the second best um player four, and then Ling Ling, cause Ling Ling the way he fought Miles, it was way too. He left himself open so many times as we as we looked at it. Left himself open so many times. But um yeah, play four he looking alright. He didn't do too many aggressive landings. Every now and then he was had to come down with a dare. Just to see like, you know, if it would work. You know, every now and then you could do stuff like that. But then once he got hit, he's like, Okay, I don't wanna do this shit no more. Which it was good. So every now and then you can test the water. Then if it doesn't work, just go back to what you was doing. And that's exactly what um said for um the way he was thinking. So that was good. But yeah, he he could have won. Especially that last game, he was kind of like punishing his land. Yoshi could not land. And this is a character who has fast airspeed. Then he was just like ready. Um But yeah, so that ends this saga of uh Peach and Daisy versus Yoshi. I said, um, all these guys, they, they could beat Miles, but I see it. Uh, Ling Ling, he just needs to, these habits that he has, like when, when he fought, um, what was it, uh, what's his name, Elegant? Like, uh, he just leaves himself open a lot, always in the air, and then coming down with their very aggressive landing. He needs to work on that. And, uh, for the other two, Nugget and Player 4. No, this thing they could they could work on, but overall, I I feel like their gameplay was better versus Yoshi than the way Ling Ling did it. Uh so yeah, that's it. That ends the saga. So I hope you guys learned a lot from this. Uh, shout out to Mint Breezy. He was the one that told me about Yo this Yoshi blowing up Peach and Daisy players for me to check it out. So I checked it out. So hopefully, um, you guys found this insightful. Uh, just to let you guys know, as usual, I do give lessons. They're ten dollars an hour. So if you guys are interested in that, uh, you can message me on Twitter or you can join my Discord and sign up for it there. All that will be in the link description below. And also, if you guys have videos that you want me to look at of yourselves and analyze it, like if you're struggling with something, I can turn to a YouTube video and then we look at it. Uh, you can just, again, hit me up on Twitter or my Discord. So with that said, thank you all for watching. Thank you for the new subscribers as well as the veteran subscribers. All you guys are savages. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.